Hi, it's Juliet from My City Plants. Today I will take you with me to the road trip. I am off to a couple of my favorite wholesale nurseries. These are the places where I select plants for you guys. So let's go together. I am driving on Long Island Expressway before this horrible virus situation came to our life. It would take me almost two hours to drive to my suppliers. And now the roads are empty. It will take me less than an hour. I'm trying to find something positive in any situation in my life. And uh, one of the positive things in this particular situation is that the roads are empty and the road trip is easier and faster. All right, it took me 45 minutes instead of two hours and I am here. I am taking extra precaution. I'm wearing the face shield today. I'm gonna go inside where there can be other people, customers like me and people that work there. I feel like a robot. You will see that there is a lot of different types of plants and variety is endless. But I am only selecting plants that I know can be happy and survive in city apartments environment and city office environment. Uh, nowadays the supply is also very limited because of the virus. Not a lot of uh, plants coming in. Majority of plants are grown in Florida, California, some of them grown in Hawaii. But now transportation is very limited, so we do not get a lot of plants. So I'm going to go and see what I can find. Hand select everything for you because my goal is to make sure that the quality of plants I select are the best. That's what we are known for. So let's go and see what they have. Here I have Sansevieria, also known as a snake plant. And I love this plant, it's very hardy. It comes from the succulent family. It can deal with all different environment, it can deal with air conditioning, it can deal with heat. What I'm looking for when I'm selecting plant, a visual aspect is very important to me. I need to make sure the plants look great. All the leaves are in the perfect shape. It's exactly what I have here. The shape is very full. I do look for any obvious infestation issues or fungus issues. This plant right here is very, very healthy. So I'm gonna grab a bunch of those because this is what we offer on our online shop and this is what I use a lot in uh, um, commercial installations. This plant is also amazing for the bedroom because it produces oxygen at night. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna grab a few. We hand select every single plant for our orders and for our customers. Sometimes it's not easy, as you can see, sometimes plants have so much damage and leaves have all this scarring. So selecting a perfect plant can take some time. I have time, I'm willing to do it as long as I get the best for you guys. Not easy. I don't like the shape of this. This is not round enough, you see? It's kind of flat. I want it to look like a flower, so when it's spotted by itself, it looks complete beautiful. This is too flat for me. See one side flat? Not pretty. Next. So let me show you what visual standards that we have. This shape right here, passes my preferences. Oh, that's what I like. Well, you can see the shape like this. I will not take. Did not pass my test. Back to the shelf. I'm looking for good amount of legs 
because this is what we use for our cascading Porthos window seal arrangement. So I want to make sure that the shape is proportional. I have a beautiful front, good amount of legs, healthy leaves. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to select a few of these for those arrangements. Here you can see the Stromanta plant. I do not sell it on my online shop. I do have this plant at home with a little different plant leaf variety. This plant is the drama queen, just like the fetal fig leaf tree. These two plant types throw royal tantrums at you all the time. They constantly will dry their leaves. No matter what you do, they would seem like they're not happy. And I do struggle with my plant at home. So that's why I am not grabbing this and offering it online. But check out how amazing these little guys are. Look at the texture of the leaves. I'm telling you, when you're here, I love coming to the greenhouses because you can find such an unusual plants. It's beautiful. This one has like all the purple leaf. This is a wandering Jew. Check out the flower. Look. It's flowering, it's pretty happy. And this plant is for the outdoors. If you could smell it, it has a wonderful sweet smell. Beautiful. Okay, Mother's Day is around the corner and I wanna make sure that I do have some beautiful blooming plants that people can send to their mothers, women they love. So I'm gonna work with this Anthurium, the plant I adore. Look at this perfect heart-shaped flower. And this plant, if it's happy, if it's well taken care of, it will throw the blooms at you almost all year round. At my first stop, I got some Anthurium for Mother's Day, which I'm gonna definitely pot in our self-watering planters. I got some beautiful cascading pothos magnificent structural snake plants and Siberia plant, ZZ plants, smaller six inch photos that we use for our smaller classic arrangements. And of course, very popular nowadays is the red Aglaonema, another very easy going plant. So now I'm gonna go and check out and go to my next stop. I have arrived at my second and the last stop of today's road trip. I do love coming to all these nurseries, not just because I have a chance to select the best available plants for my customers, which gives me complete control over the quality, but also because I can see some outdoor, beautiful blooming plants. Through, they vary through different seasons right now. This is. This nursery spring display and all this yellow and blue is just fantastic. But I'm gonna go inside and go into the foliage indoor plant section and select another amazing plants for my customers. As you can see, this supply has a much wider variety of different plants from hanging basket. I love being here. It's like such a paradise to me with all these amazing nature creations. Oh wow, look at this. Look how pretty this color is. I wish I knew the names of all the plants. I don't, unfortunately. I'm learning as I go. As I said earlier, guys, majority of foliage plants come from a much warmer states like Florida, California. But this uh, supplier here, they grow their own succulents. As you can see, this is a little baby succulent house. That's when they propagate them and grow them. That's what they're known for. Oh, I'll show you the craziest succulent. Look, have you seen anything like this? Oh my God, I'm telling you, nature is 
crazy. Look. <laughs> oh, I love it. Look at this pitcher plant. It's carnivores. And what they do, they have little sweet essence at the bottom of this pitcher. And when the fly gets to it, the pitcher closes itself and traps the flies there. Then the plant absorbs the insect and kind of takes all the nutrients for itself. Look how full, perfect. You see, the shape is perfect. This yellow leaves right here is just the sign of acclimation. As I told you guys, the, this plant has been traveling for a while and now they are acclimating to its new home. I got us an amazing Monstera. It's very healthy. All the leaves are perfect. I mean, it's a little dirty, but shape and everything, it's great. I'm very happy. I'm getting one of my favorite plants, Hoya. I have this plant at home as well. Look how pretty this leaf pattern is. This guy is good. Ah, oh, great shape. Look how healthy, how strong the leaves are. You can see a little bit different variety. This guy has a little pink shade in it. Hoy is coming with me. Look guys at this beautiful, oh, I got stuck. Beautiful, I'm stuck. Oh, beautiful baby monstera plant. Perfect for smaller pots. After I clean it, trim it, I would look amazing and pot it in a beautiful planter. It would look amazing. Crispy wave fern. Love this guy. Look how pretty. Definitely getting this. All leaves look healthy, they're firm. Even if I look at the roots, let me see. All healthy roots, no rotting, nothing. Healthy, perfect plant. Look at this cactus, guys. Blooms so beautifully. Look at this long legs. Yeah, coming to the places like this, I feel like I'm in the botanical garden. Look at all the exotic. This feels like I'm in a wonderland. Look at this amazing colors, the pale violet. It almost looks like silver. Look at the spectacular blooms. It's amazing. Some plants have gorgeous blooms, but some plants really want to stand out of the crowd and grow this really funny looking blossoms just to catch your attention and make sure you definitely take a look. I don't even know the name of the plant, but isn't that crazy? It got my attention, all right. <laughs> this is Peperomia, I just found out. And Peperomia has endless variety of uh, plants, different looks and leaves, so this is one of the Peperomia plants. Crazy. This right here is a fish hook heaven. This is the cascading succulent and it's called fish hook because of the leaves, they look like the little hooks. Look how amazing and long they have grown here. While I'm here, I'm gonna do some personal shopping too. So I'm gonna grab some herbs for cooking for my kitchen. The 
I am done with my shopping spree. The plant hunt has been very successful. I am very happy. I got some philodendrons and ferns and calathea. I got some cascading pothos here. The luckiest uh, grab that I have is that beautiful monstera plant and I have a lot of it, so I'm gonna put it back online when I'm back. Got a little bit of more of large red aglaonema. This is another strong air purifier, just like this guy is a cut leaf philodendron. Look how cool the leaves are. I did get some herbs for myself and another pink plant in my collection. If you're watching my videos, Green Moments with Juliet, I do share the plant care for plants I have at home so you can see my collection of plants that I have. So I'm very happy I have this. I hope you enjoyed a little trip. I hope it took your minds off this crazy stressful situation. When you're out there, when we are able to move around, if you go out and shop for plants, this is what you look for. Visual aspect first. It has to look perfect. Some scarring, some damage of the leaves are expecting because during transportation, when plants get wrapped and unwrapped, some minor damage is okay. As long as you can trim it or once the plant grows to remove the leaves, you wanna make sure there is no visual pest issue, there is no white spots, dark spots, there is no rotting. So the visual, the healthy leaves, if you're not sure, you can always take the plant out of the grower spot and make sure the roots are healthy. So get your plants, good plants, repot them in a beautiful planters and enjoy having plants in your life. Thank you for watching and I see you soon.